Get here with some tips on improving your privacy settings when it comes to Windows 10. I've got some top 10 uh, areas here that we can look at. Starting first off with the feedback privacy. So click on the search there, the Windows search on the bottom left corner and type feedback. You're going to get the feedback privacy settings appearing here in the results. Once that window pops up, when you click on it, you're going to see diagnostic and usage data. Uh, you might want to set that to basic. There is no other option other than full, blown, and basic. Obviously, uh, letting Microsoft have more information from you and giving you, uh, you know, tips and things like that is something that you might not want and uh, you might want to disable and set it to never for the frequency that you uh, are asked to give feedback and things like that. I mean, these are things that uh, ultimately could even improve uh, performance of your computer. Now when it comes to general privacy settings, if you click on privacy here again, type in the search privacy, and then you'll see a whole bunch of different privacy uh, settings appear. We're going to click on the first one at the top, privacy settings. We'll go through these uh, other ones later. Um, so each one of these allows you to fine tune basically a little bit further your privacy options in Windows. Now I, for example, have certain things turned off here already. Uh, one thing that I should also uh, mention here is that there is an option to turn off how it shows you relevant information when you surf by accessing your language list. Maybe you want to keep that private as well, so you might want to turn that off. Uh, another option that you might want to turn off is the location privacy settings. That basically tells where you are and uh, gives information to apps and other programs and services in Windows. So by turning that off, basically you're keeping your location private and you might want to even clear the history on this device as well. So click on clear so that way you make sure that there's nothing left over in there. Uh, you can see here all these different types of apps that are um, potentially able to use your location and give that information out. Uh, or use that. So by disabling uh, your location settings, you're one step closer to being um, you know, private and anonymous when it comes to that. Now another privacy setting is your camera or the mic, depending on whether you want to enable the camera or mic for your apps. Uh, it's basically an on-off switch. Uh, when you go into the camera option, I have it off. Uh, you could have it on and then specify which apps specifically can use the camera and turn those individual apps on. I have everything turned off because I don't want any of those apps to use the camera because uh, I have no use for that. So uh, by default, I just have it off. But for other scenarios, and, and maybe you want to have it on. Speech and uh, typing uh, privacy settings, for example, that's a good one. Uh, you might want to try changing some settings in there. Uh, take a look and see here. Basically, uh, when you have that turned on, it uses the Cortana, right? So if you turn it off, then it can't speak to Cortana. So you won't be accidentally speaking and telling it to do things, or it won't be uh, listening and trying to search for things with those speech services that it has. You know what I mean? So uh, by default, I have that turned off, but maybe you have it turned on by default and you want to turn it off. So there's your option right there. Background apps, again, do a search for background apps and you're going to see here this option to choose which apps can run in the background. By default here, I have many apps running in the background. Um, a lot of that uses information about your PC, uh, how you have things configured and your privacy settings, depending on how much you have enabled, it'll use that as well. You could turn all of that off all at once, of course, and then no apps will run in the background. Actually, that will increase some, increase some performance on your, on your computer as well if you turn that off. So you might notice some uh, increase in, in speed. Um, here, under the Wi-Fi settings, you might want to go into the Wi-Fi settings. You will see here there's an option for hotspots nearby. You might want to turn some of that stuff off. Remember, um, not all Wi-Fi networks are secure. Okay, so you want to turn that off perhaps, and only connect to the Wi-Fi networks that you know and trust. Um, maybe when you go to a hotel, for example, you connect to the hotel network and you trust that. So you want to leave enabled the hotspots 2.0 networks option here. 
which then will ask you to uh, sign up and put in your room number and so forth so that way you can log in. So that's fine, right? For those types of cases, you might want to leave that enabled, but uh, you don't just want it uh, automatically connecting to anything that's public and open uh, randomly. So keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing that um, I wanted to kind of point out here is the uh, option for enabling specific security settings when it comes to the Windows Defender. Okay, so if you go and do a search for your Defender Security Center, in that, we want to go into the um, uh, virus security settings, basically. So if you click on the shield on the top uh, left corner here, you'll be able to go down to the virus uh, and threat protection settings. In there, you can actually do some tweaking on the cloud-based protection, and uh, I have that disabled because I'm not using the cloud uh, portion of, of this, and also the automatic sample submission. So when Microsoft is sending samples of files to protect you, uh, well, maybe you want to manually send those uh, to uh, Microsoft instead of it automatically doing things without you actually knowing. Uh, so maybe you have all these things enabled. So keep that in mind. There are ways to disable um, the operating system in Windows 10 from automatically doing things without you actually knowing. And by default, those may be enabled. So that's why I'm pointing them out. Maybe you're comfortable in leaving it on. Maybe you're part of the customer experience improvement program here. So again, you can do a search for customer under the Windows search. This will pop up, change customer experience improvement program settings. When you click on that, it will show you whether you're signed up for it or not. Maybe uh, you're uh, signed up for it. It'll say, yes, uh, I want to participate in the program or no, in my case, I'm not signed up for it in this example. So you can see here, um, it's set up, set up to no. Um, if you have it set up to yes, then obviously it's going to be sending information. It's collecting information to send to uh, Microsoft when it comes to your hardware and how you use Windows. Maybe you want to keep that private, right? So again, you can change those settings in here. Now, one other thing I want to point out is the problem reports, the error reporting. In Windows, there's a lot of automatic submission of error reports to Microsoft to help improve and fix things. Um, here's an example error that I just created to, to show you guys. There's a report that was sent. If you want to view what that report and what was sent, you can always right click on it and then uh, you'll get a menu options that allow you to view um, the details, uh, the technical details on what exactly happened uh, and, and what was sent, right? So maybe you want to click on that. But if you don't want things to be automatically submitted to Microsoft, well, you're going to have to go into the services. So you're going to have to do a search here, go into the Windows services. And under the Windows services on the uh, standard tab, um, you're going to get an option to um, disable basically the um, Windows uh, error reporting service. Okay, so this one right here. So the Windows error reporting service, by default, uh, I have it set to manual, so it's not automatically sending it, but you can uh, obviously go into the properties by right-clicking on that and then set it to uh, manual or disable it completely if you don't want it ever sending anything. Um, likewise, there is the... Um, there's another service here. Let's just go to it for a second. It is on this list here. It is connected user experience and telemetry. You want to basically disable that as well. Uh, so right now in this example, it's running and it's set to automatic. So it's automatically collecting and doing things. Well, maybe you want to have that manually um, invoked or disabled completely actually. So right click on that and um, basically go into the properties for that service. Okay, see how it says running right now? We're gonna set that to disabled. So you right click on that. I'm gonna stop it first. And then after I stop it, I'm gonna right click on it again and then go to properties here and then choose the startup type to be disabled instead of it to be automatic. It was set to automatic before. Yeah, if you want it to be manual, that's fine. You can set it up to manual. And that's pretty much it. So those are the 10 uh, main areas to basically have a little bit more control on the privacy and what's going on behind the scenes. Um, you might even uh, experience a little bit of a boost in performance after you restart your computer and, 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 and notice something. Comment below. Let me know what you think about these tips. Uh, if you haven't clicked on the bell below the video, please do and like uh, my video for more to come. Again, thank you for watching.